We're um, Bat Conservation and Rescue Queensland and uh, we cover 3,000 square kilometres of Greater Brisbane. This is uh, our Halloween event uh, with Redland City Council and we have this every year. We'll be watching a, a fly out of the flying foxes. Uh, with, uh, Black Swamp in Cleveland has a colony of uh, about 3,000 flying foxes so we'll be watching that fly out and um, and hopefully looking at mothers flying out with little babies and just hope that they all return back to the swamp in the morning all safe and sound. If not, we'll rescue them. <laughs> this is Oscar and he's a great ambassador for our organisation so he comes out to events with us and uh, he's a bit of a star because he's a grey-headed flying fox and he shows people that they're really magnificent animals and de deserve a lot um, better press than what they've been getting. We're writing to politicians all the time, talking uh, about cull, there's no need to cull flying foxes, where they're actually on rapid demise anyway. And uh, the, the reason why we had large numbers of flying foxes in South East Queensland just recently was because of the floods. And when you have great rains, you get great flowering. So our forests were in um, a fantastic flowering event. So all the flying foxes came from Victoria and New South Wales for a holiday in, in Queensland now. So we're, we're back to about normal numbers again. We also work a lot on cores, so uh, any flying foxes that are um, stuck in netting for instance we try to talk to the homeowner about using something other than backyard fruit tree netting which is a really um, big killer of flying foxes up and down the east coast of Australia. We've got members that are just associate members and they, they can help with uh, events, uh, they can go on management committees for um, all sorts of different things that we have, chocolate fundraising and uh, uh, coming on events and uh, celebrating bats with us. And then the active members, anybody um, that handles flying foxes must be vaccinated uh, to protect them against Australian bat lysivirus, the only uh, virus that the flying foxes can give to humans. They help us then with our rescue, um, so they go out and uh, maybe we've got a call for a rescue off barbed wire or our, our backyard fruit tree netting. So um, we'd give them a call and hopefully they're able to go and then uh, rescue the bat and then take it into care and uh, look after it for us until it's ready to go back to the wild. We probably have more flying foxes in uh, the city of Brisbane than any other city in Australia. So there's a great need for rescuers and carers. When people uh, get to see them and get to meet flying foxes up close, they really change their attitude to um, how beautiful they really are. The ultimate goal is every bat we rescue we want to put back.